Hey, 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 my lovelies. Thank you guys so much for tuning in and clicking on this video. My name is Kamoy. If you're new to the channel, welcome. If you're a returning subscriber, welcome back. Today is the daily vibration for November 22nd, 2019. And today we're vibrating at the number nine. This is not going to be a long video today, okay? Because I'm tired and I want to get, get in my bed. Um, so this is not going to be a long video tonight. I do want to let you know about the vibrations. And I do want to remind you guys that I am going live tonight at 8.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Um, so, um, just come on in and join us and I'll be able to answer all of your questions. Don't forget the birthday special ends, um, today, right? And I might have to extend that only because I did not get to finish all of my videos this week. Um, so I may just extend that because I kind of feel like, um, I should have posted all of these, you know, like the other signs. Um, definitely they should have been up by yesterday. Uh, and it did not work out that way. So I may extend um, I'll keep you guys posted on that. Uh, if you are interested, make sure you check out my podcast. All of those links will be in the description box below. And if you're interested in a personal reading with me, you can email me uh, at the number four, your invoice. So the same with my channel is spelt all together, one word at gmail.com. And that's how you can get in touch with me. Um, and let's just say anything else you really need to know about me, you can find in the description box below. Okay. Just scroll down and scroll through. All right, my love. So today we're vibrating on the number nine. You will not see dates in the caption field because energy is fluid. You are to take what you need and leave what you do not. Okay. Um, I feel like I'm missing some things, but we'll jump into the, the things that I'm missing tomorrow. Um, I talked about the birthday discount. I talked about the podcast. Um, the dailies are posted every day at, tw uh, 12 15 eastern um 12 15 eastern standard time okay um the new facebook page platform i am working on that um shea butter body bombs for the holidays you guys will be able to see a sample of that pretty soon um and um yeah the discount on the readings i may um may extend because I didn't get to post all the videos like I wanted to this week. Okay, so we're vibrating on the number nine today. My love, that's intuition is always there on point every day available for you to tap into. Universal spiritual laws are going to be in, uh, key today. So you want to pay attention to karma, cause and effect, okay? Whatever you put out is what you give back, okay? If you light work it today and you're doing any light work and energy, today's a really good day that you can intensify your power, okay? Um, having to take a higher perspective on things today may be key for some of you. Romance is in the air for some of you, okay? Um, self-love, forgiveness, as well as learning to say no is going to be important today, all right? Obligations are going to be key. You may find that some of you have to put, um, family prioritized and put the things that are important, the obligations that you have to get done, put them into, um, put things into prioritize prioritize things or maybe even put things into the proper categories where they need to be placed okay we do have public relations in the atmosphere today so when i see this this lets me know that we just pay attention to like social media stuff you could either get on social media because you want to vent or see people in social media venting some shit about you or you could see some shit popping off and just in social media in general, as well as um, public relations within the governmental structure, or uh, as well as in the entertainment structure, you could see some stuff going on in the public there, okay? Now, on the lower vibrational end of the number nine, uh, we do have selfish energy in the atmosphere, as well as feeling disconnected today. Um, some of you could even feel disconnected from yourself. And if you do feel like that today, and if you have time to meditate, that's what you should do. If you don't have time to meditate, I really should teach you guys how to anger but if you don't have time to meditate um you know like to literally sit and meditate you have to uh, remind yourself okay and maybe just say a couple of affirmations quietly to bring yourself back to center okay um unable to concentrate on as well as um lack of focus today that energy is also in the ear so just be mindful today um for some of you you may want to literally take a time out today and do some self-care and some self-love okay I know I've been feeling like self-care and self-love is required for me for a couple of days now. Okay, so today we're just going to go ahead and we're going to get your messages. We're going to start off with Scorpio. Scorpio. Let's just do the water signs, guys. I'm just going to do all water signs today. Let's get the message for all the water signs today. What's the message for all the water signs today? What is the message for all of the water signs today? 
What's the message for the water signs today? Wisdom, discernment, gratitude. Oh, wow. Okay. All right, my wonderful water signs. You have wisdom, discernment, and gratitude popping up today um, as your inspiration. Okay. Yeah. Give me one second. We're going to clarify what they want you to know. What do you want my wonderful water signs to know about wisdom, discernment, and gratitude? Okay. 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 All right, my wonderful water signs. Wisdom today is clarified by the spring card. And when the spring card pops up, it says you need to um, see your seeds growing, okay? So, you know how um, you have to be careful when you're a gardener of when to plant the seeds, when to um, till the ground, when to water your seeds, you know, and all of the, the extra... Um, all of the extra, I want to say, ins and out of having a successful garden, right? So, now, when it talks about um, see your seeds growing, let's just say that this is not just on a physical level, but this is also on a mental and spiritual level, okay? Some of you, you need to use wisdom in how you operate or maybe even how you share your business or whom you share your business with because you do have um, discernment popping up. And clarifying discernment is some of asking you to bask in joy and light just be the light you know what kelly be saying all the time i'm the light i'm the light be the light just be the light okay um as if you're light workers today you may want to definitely um you may want to definitely uh and i don't know i'm here you may want to reevaluate if you should take clients um when your energy is not, when you need to be centered yourself, okay? So for my light workers, what you might want to do is do some energy centering with yourself, uh, especially if you're a water sign today before you, you deal with your clients, okay? Um, just do some energy centering, all right? Uh, also, my lovely water signs, you guys have gratitude, which is clarified by the stargazer, and it's basically saying set your sights higher, okay? So you're being asked to use wisdom and to see the things that you that you desire to experience, see those seeds growing. How do you plant seeds, mental seeds, and spiritual seeds, you do that using your heart chakra, your throat chakra, as well as your third eye chakra, okay? Uh, and you can, that's just like affirmations, visualization, and actually feeling it. And keep in mind, my wonderful water signs, we are signs that feel. And your feeling is what gets you the blessing in this third dimensional realm. So sometimes we have to do things even though we don't feel like it, okay? And that's just not from the physical standpoint of you, my water signs, where you have to get up and physically do things even though you don't, you don't want to do it. Even in the spiritual end, it's still the same way. Sometimes you just got to do shit that you don't necessarily want to do. So this is not a bad spread for you, okay? So use wisdom today. Be able to see your seeds grow, not just mentally, um, physically, but also spiritually and mentally. Use this discernment when you're operating with people because today is a day where you're going to be learning how to say no. And when you say no, some people may not like that. So just bask in the joy and light of being who you are, okay? Gratitude is also going to have to be key today for you guys, as well as being able to set your your sights higher because it, it, it kind of feel like water signs today people gonna have some shit to say water signs people's gonna have some shit to say okay so scorpios don't sting nobody pisces understand that your energetic sponge and cancers you may have to get out your feelings today okay Get out your feelings, Cancer, so you can get into your feelings. Don't take everything so personal today. Learn how to say no, Cancers, okay? All right, so we're going to do a fire sign. Our Sagittarius, our Aries, and our Leo. What do you have for my wonderful fire signs? What do you have for my wonderful fire signs? What do you have for my wonderful fire signs? What do you have for my wonderful fire signs? What do you have for my wonderful fire signs? What do you have for my fire signs to know today? Uh, fire signs, y'all. I got self-love on the board. Okay. All right, So, let's clarify. You got nourishment, unexpected, and self-love. So, we're going to get clarification on all three of those. Clarify nourishment. Clarify the unexpected and self-love for my wonderful, wonderful... For my wonderful fire signs. Clarify for my wonderful fire signs. Okay. 
All right, my wonderful fire signs, you guys have nourishment clarified by the guardian angel card. Um, and nourishment clarified, the guardian angel is saying you're not alone. When the nourishment card pops up, once again, I still feel like this is all about so, um, self-love. This is all about instead, instead, you know, because this is the thing. You know, like... If you don't feed yourself or you don't drink or you, you know, don't drink water or you don't eat, you know, like this can make you even feel depleted or even dehydrated, right? It's the same thing with your spiritual as well as your mental capacity, right? So you're going to have to nourish yourself maybe with the self-love and the self-care that's necessary today, my wonderful fire signs. You do have the guardian angel popping up. So be open to the guides. Be open to your angels. Be open to the ancestors coming in. But also, I kind of feel like being open to how love wants to come into your life. Like real love, unconditional love today wants to come in. It can come in with a smile, fire signs. It can come in with having an amazing conversation where you can get some insight today. It can come in with you just watching a YouTube video and feeling uplifted and inspired today. So nourish yourself in the areas, my wonderful fire signs, that you're going to need to and know that you're not alone, okay? For some of you, pay attention to the synchronicities today. Day. Okay, fire signs. Then you also have the unexpected popping up, and this is clarified by the oracle. Okay, and the oracle is saying, wait for the important information to come in, especially if you feel like you're just stuck. And can I tell you something? Sometimes on the spiritual journey, it be if it, it be feeling sometimes like shit just ain't moving. I'm not going to lie to y'all. Sometimes it feels like shit just ain't moving. Okay, today self love and forgiveness is in the atmosphere the one thing i can say however is a lot of times we spend a lot of time forgiving other people but you don't forgive yourself okay so be open and be mindful for that okay all right last but not least you got self-love and self-love is clarified by the warrior card can i tell you some of y'all like this is how because my ascendant is leo and i've been feeling like i'm in this mode right here self-love plus warrior self-love plus warrior mode this is where i've been Okay, and with self-love um, and with the warrior card popping up, the warrior card is all about be, be fearless and stand strong. That's pretty much where I am right now. I've been having to shut people down. Now, we're shuffling some cards today, and I have a new goddess that popped out, Hathor. And um, she says, allow yourself to receive. This will increase your intuition, energy, and the ability to give to others. She just jumped out today. I was shuffling the goddess. Well, that wasn't today. That was yesterday when I was meditating on um, the poll that I am going to do for you guys. I was going to call the poll. Um, shit, I was going to call the poll. Uh, um, this is why your ass is blocked. That was going to be the name of the poll. And I already pre-shuffled the cards, so the cards are still sitting there. I might not name it that. <laughs> I might not name it that. Depending on where the cards go, I might not name it that. So, um, my wonderful fire signs, just pay attention to you being able to love yourself today. Um, not reacting, but taking action, okay? Nourish yourself with the things that you need today. May it be affirmations, may it be music, may it just be taking a walk, okay? Um, the unexpected, the unexpected to happen, but before... Before you take a move or make a move, be open um, for the information that's coming in, okay? And love yourself and be fearless and stand your ground is what your message is today, my wonderful fire signs, okay? So let's take a look at my earth signs. Let's take a look at my earth signs. Sagittarius, you want to use your perception today, Leo. <clears throat> You definitely want to stand in the sunlight today if you have not been doing that. If you've been giving your shine to someone else, my wonderful Leo, today would be the day for you to step into the sunlight and embrace your self-love. Aries, learn how to say no today. And forgiveness is going to be key for you today, my wonderful Aries. Don't be so stubborn today. Okay, so we're doing my wonderful earth signs. Earth signs. Okay, you got protection. You got blossoming. And you got release. Okay. Protection, blossoming, and release. Clarify protection, blossoming, and release for my wonderful earth signs. Clarify protection, blossoming, and release for my wonderful earth signs. Clarify release for my wonderful earth signs. Okay, guys. So. 
for protection, you have the Lord card is saying, take charge with authority. Kind of feel like some of y'all don't have to shut some people down today, like protect your personal space. Ugh. I was asking what is, um, what's, okay, so if you do not know or uh, understand the spiritual meaning of the unk, you need to go ahead and you need to research that. This is what's called doing the work, so, um, so it's so amazing. There's a lot of symbolism in this, ugh. There's a lot of symbolism in this. Oh my gosh, there's so much symbolism in this, my wonderful Ursan. Is this the... Um... Hmm, okay. Y'all have y'all, y'all got protection clarified by the Lord, um, the Lord, which is all about taking charge. Okay, you also have blossoming, which is clarified by the medicine mother. And the medicine mother is saying, honor your inner knowing. And then you have release, which is clarified by the drum card, which is dream your journey. Dreams and journey, okay? I'm going to give y'all one more layer of clarification. Because I kind of feel like um, some of my wonderful Capricorns are about to go into um, warrior mode. That's why I feel this protection is coming in from, right, with this Lord card. Um, Virgos, you're just going to be shutting people down and letting people know how you feel. Okay, yep. So with the protection and this Lord card is saying, take the time to breathe. So you don't want to pop off at the Mount My Wonderful Earth signs. You want to take the time to think about things before you just react. Okay. Now, when it comes to blossoming as well as the medicine mother, which is all about trusting your inner knowing or honoring your inner knowing, it says believe in the impossible, my wonderful earth signs. <clears throat> okay. When it comes to release and the journey and the dream. It's asking you to, it's saying prosperity lies ahead, okay? So basically know that you're protected today. Know that things are blossoming today. You need to trust your intuition as well as honor your intuition. Beat to your own drum today because part of the process is the journey, okay? It's not so much the destination, but oops, sorry guys. I gotta put the, uh, part of the, um... It's not about the destination, it's the journey, okay? So you just want to be mindful um, that that's what it's about, okay? My wonderful earth signs. So Capricorns and Virgos, you may definitely want to breathe today before you... you say, Well, the both of you want to breathe um, before you say no. You in particular, Capricorn, you might want to um, definitely take two breaths before you say no today, Um Virgos, you definitely want to get out of your head today. Um, and Taurus, you want to definitely understand because this, see, because when I see this, like I'm paying attention because it feels like somebody may be dealing with some stubborn energy today. And I kind of feel like that's um, Taurus energy. So it's, what I'm saying uh, to my wonderful Taurus today is don't be too stubborn in your energy. You may want to be a little bit more flexible today and really just target the things that you're obligated to and don't get too caught up in the things that you don't got no business tackling today, my wonderful Taurus, okay? Because you don't have everybody figured out. People changes just like the weather, okay? They grow, they expand, or they don't grow, or they, you know, just, yeah. Be mindful of that, my wonderful, wonderful um, earth signs. Okay, let's jump into the air signs. What you got for my wonderful air signs? What you got for my wonderful air signs? What you got for my wonderful air signs? Oh, you got the wisdom card popping up for my air signs. Oh, you got growth popping up. This is good energy. Oh, we got beauty popping up. Oh, clarifying beauty. You got luck is on your side. That one to pop out, so you might as well just use these cards. That one flew out. So I'm going to use a Moonology deck to clarify my wonderful air signs. Okay. You and your loved ones are safe and all the answers you need. Okay, okay. so with wisdom, it's saying all of the answers that you need will be flowing today. So be open to receive and be mindful that that energy is flowing. Okay. 
Um, also, growth is your portion today. And growth is clarified by the new moon and cancer energy. And with the new moon and cancer, it's all about you and your loved ones are safe. So you can get out your head and know that as you grow and expand using wisdom, you guys are safe. Okay, especially if this has to do with a home situation, my wonderful air signs. Okay, you do need to be able to see the beauty in things, however, my love. Okay, and as you do that, know that luck is on your side today. My wonderful, wonderful air signs. So, overall energy. Okay, so Libras, I kind of feel like you guys will have to be open today um, to really be able to balance out your thinking and your emotions today and not be too in one on uh or not be too on the fence about your logical end and not be too on the fence about your emotions. But I also feel, my wonderful Libras, that you're going to have to be honest with yourself today and don't commit yourself to things that you know you don't want to do, number one. And number two, you're not going to have the time to do, okay? Now, for my Geminis, it's going to be important for you guys not to be stubborn and definitely to utilize the wisdom and the self-love that's in the atmosphere today, especially when it comes to you and... um. Anyone pertaining to your family, home, or the people that you care about today, just be mindful that they are also safe. You just need to continue to walk um, with wisdom and know that you guys are being protected. When it comes to Aquarius, you are in your own way. Um, so you may need to just step out of your way because you have beautiful energy here, Aquarius. So if you step out of your way and utilize wisdom and be open to the growth, there's beautiful things unfolding for you today. Um, the one thing that I am going to stress with everybody is just try to be mindful not to operate in selfishness today. Self-love versus selfishness is a key. And sometimes um, I, I say to people, it's okay for you to be a little selfish because sometimes that is required, right? But I'm just going to say self-love is required today, guys. That's really what I'm vibrating on. So self-love is going to be required today. I'm going to put this in the caption. Um, this is going to be the title of the video, self-love. And I know we've that might have been... Um, that might have been another reading not too long ago, but that's what it is. It's about self-love today, okay? All right, my lovelies, I will see you guys tonight at 8.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Come on in and join us on the live where I do answer questions. Make sure you check out the podcast. Um, all of the links will be in the description box below. And um, I'll see you guys in tomorrow's daily as well as on the live tonight. I'm going to wrap up the other videos within the next couple of days. I'm just letting the energy kind of ride out. Plus, I got so much things on the table. Okay, my loves. Love you guys much, and I'll see you guys in tomorrow's daily. Bye, guys.